I want you all to think about a time where intelligence triumphed over courage in a situation for you. And if you do have a time where that happened, why don't you leave in the comments the scenario? Because as far as I can tell, majority of the time, courage is going to, and courage through boldness, is usually going to be triumphant over any kind of act of intelligence or any kind of formulation of intelligence. And the reason being is because intelligence and people people often think that inte intelligence and memory are the same thing. They are intertwined. People think that if you can regurgitate information, well, then that means that you're intelligent. But that actually isn't a marker of intelligence now, is it? Just because you can regurgitate information doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to be creative. And so with courage comes a certain kind of fulfillment of the spirit, whereas intelligence does not always, even though it can contribute to the fulfillment of the spirit, courage can on its own fulfill the spirit and the desire for something beyond the flesh. So what does this have to do with the topic for today? Because the topic, as you guys can see, I'm, it's just about sunset here where I'm at. And I don't know, you guys can't really see the clouds, but the clouds were like super pink and bright and red just a few minutes ago. And uh, it was so beautiful. I was like, man, I'm gonna make a video out here because it's just so beautiful outside. But uh, I, it still works, still gonna get the message out. So what I wanna talk about is why you are going to be a, like your existence as a godly person, you have to understand, is going to be a fragment in the system that is what we have today. Not just in the industries, but I mean in the overarchal simulation or whatever you want to call it that we have in our society, this is going to be, as a godly person, you're going to be the fragment that really disrupts everywhere you go. It's almost like you are, because of your existence, your pure existence is a threat to the empire of deceit. And so as you become more of a threat to the empire of deceit, the more demonic attacks start coming your way, the more spiritual warfare you're going to have to go through. And by this time, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a general in God's army just yet, but I would say that I'm moving up the ranks. And it's taken me a lot of time. It's taken me a lot of years. It's taken me a lot of experience to get here. And it's not just something that happens overnight. Like people want to believe that you have to have a certain amount of people following you or whatever in order to be uh, regarded as some kind of uh, powerful person. But that's not necessarily the case. Your presence alone can be powerful. The only reason that people think that followers or subscribers or whatever, how many views you get, depends like is dependent upon your power and your power is dependent on that is because people don't actually recognize what's going on spiritually. Have you ever wondered why some people are just more naturally gifted than others, it seems like? Like, why do people seem like they're just so much more talented, even though they're not even trying? Well, it's not always because they, they actually are talented. It's that they've accepted more of themselves. And sometimes people have given their soul to the devil. So it's really dependent upon how you can embrace your soul. Are you embracing your soul to the depths that you need to and that you must to really understand the dedication that it takes to just be who you are? It takes a lot to just be who you are, okay? It takes a lot to, to actually accept yourself, to know your darkness and to know your strengths without even trying to kill it, 
or be a uh, an adversary to it because sometimes the the parts of ourselves that we desire to destroy most are oftentimes the things that make us the strongest i used to think that my i wasn't necessarily a coward per se but i had always had struggles with trying to express and assert myself and the reason being was because whenever i did try to assert myself growing up it was almost as if i was punished socially for it people were like oh you know he's he's a lot to handle or he's a little bit of this and over time, as I matured, I actually really found myself to be a reserved person. And so if you're looking for somebody to teach you about how to be extroverted, I'm absolutely not the person <laughs> to, to, tell, to help you with that. But I know how to be extroverted when necessary, and I know the value of social communication. This is one of the reasons why I, I do videos like this and that I have communication in my comment section or just with people in general that's the reason that i don't just turn us uh, you know turn a, turn a blind eye or turn to the side whenever people want to have a conversation necessarily because i understand that there can be something that i can learn just as much as something that they can learn and if you go into a conversation hoping to understand that there's more to this than just you preaching or you trying to tell somebody what's right and what's what's wrong because i don't know all the time what's right and what's wrong i don't i just simply don't although i've gone through enough in my life to determine that there are going to be certain things that are right and certain things that are wrong and as long as i follow god's law statutes and commandments i'm going to be walking in spirit and truth and i'm going to be able to have the confidence to be courageous because when i'm confident enough to be courageous that's where all of these doors that god wants to open for me is going to open if you told me let's see two and a half years ago that i would be doing what i am now speaking to you <laughs> at sunset here in the valley overlooking this beautiful scenery i would have thought that you're kind of crazy because i it's not that i didn't believe in myself it's just that i didn't know if that was really something i wanted to do and now that i'm here it's like i wouldn't want to be doing anything else i wouldn't want to be doing i i feel more as as if i am being who i'm meant to be in this moment now more than any other moment in my life and it just continues to compound upon itself and it comes from my confidence in being courageous i'm courageous enough to to put out a message knowing that the things that i say are not necessarily going to be liked or understood by everyone because if you take this message the wrong way uh, we all know like here <laughs> here on this channel the people that are actually here that are actually watching who I appreciate, by the way, because without you guys, it wouldn't be possible to continue doing this. And I, I get a lot of insight from the people in general altogether, just by able to being able to communicate like this is really a blessing through through technology and such. Um, but but anyway, this is all just a big part. I kind of forgot where I was heading with that because I wanted to show appreciation. But the point is, is God is opening doors that you might not even know are openable, if that's a word, until you actually start doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing, until you start doing what is meant to be doing for you. Because if you're operating in your soul and from a place in your spirit where you are expressing your soul, you can't go wrong. You literally can't. There's no possible way to go wrong when you are literally expressing your soul. Because you know what I've noticed is what's different about people that are actually creators is they create something with regard to being able to be paid for their creation. And it's not just be paid like monetarily. I'm talking about with the spirit because if you give everything that you've got to god 
God is going to give it back. And I know that because I've seen it countless times again and again and again. And it's the same kind of thing with people that are uh, not giving all of themselves. Well, what do you get? If you're trying to cheat your way through the system, even if that system is corrupt, you're trying to cheat your way through the system. Sure, you might have the luxuries. Sure, you might have these uh, whatever it is that you've got going. You might have the ladies. You might have the money. You might have the status. But that's not really what life is about. There's more to life than that. And it took me to be 24 years old. I'm 28 years old now. It took me to 24 years old to really realize that. And it's not like I didn't know it. It's just that my subconscious was operating in a way where I had no choice but to reorient my thought algorithms. I had no choice. Because if I continued to do what I was doing, I would be operating from that subconscious view of, okay, this is how things are. But when I was about 22, when I had my spiritual awakening, I had to uncover these things and it took a lot of courage to really accept myself. And in fact, I would say having the courage to accept yourself is probably the most challenging thing anybody can truly do. Because when you're alone, and you're really feeling isolated. You, you are really feeling like nobody's got your back. You're feeling like there's nobody that wants it more than you. And yet everybody else that's barely even trying, that's just cheating their way through the system. They're the ones getting rewarded for it. Meanwhile, you're working your butt off to just try to stay afloat. You're thinking to yourself like, this is just, <laughs> this is BS. Like this is so BS. When you're in that space, and you have to really accept where you're at and what you're going through and just accept the struggle. That's like the hardest thing. And anybody that's been able to go through that and make it on the other side, or if you're going through that right now, I commend, like I salute you and I commend myself to you because I understand what that's like and I know that that's not an easy thing. But anyways, guys, I wanted to come through with this video. It's getting a bit dark out now all of a sudden. It's like the sun is going down and everything's starting to to get quiet and we've got just a nice little crickets going off in the background and the bugs are out so i'm gonna start to head back but i hope this message was useful and insightful and until next time peace be with you